Earth is calling for attention with its climate drastically changing. We are living in a time when the effects of climate change are more evident and alarming than ever before. Climate change in its simplest definition is a long-term shift in global or regional climate patterns. It's a complex phenomenon that impacts the globe in various ways, one of the most significant being the rise in sea levels. Let's delve into the mechanics of this a bit. It all begins with the greenhouse effect, a natural process where gases in the Earth's atmosphere trap the sun's heat, maintaining the planet's temperature to support life. However, human activities, specifically the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, have increased the concentration of these gases. This leads to an enhanced greenhouse effect, causing the Earth to heat up more than usual, a phenomenon we commonly refer to as global warming. Now, how does global warming relate to the rising sea levels? The connection lies in the polar ice caps. These vast sheets of ice at the Earth's poles serve as our planet's natural air conditioners by reflecting sunlight back into space. But as the Earth warms up, these ice caps begin to melt. This melting ice combined with the thermal expansion of seawater as it warms is causing sea levels to rise globally. It's a slow but steady process that's been happening over the past century, with rates in the last decade nearly doubling that of the previous one. And it's not just about a few inches of water, rising sea levels pose a significant threat to our coastal cities and low-lying areas. They lead to more destructive storm surges, increased coastal flooding, and gradual land loss. Today millions of people worldwide live in areas that will be underwater by the end of the century if sea levels continue to rise at this pace. As our planet warms up the melting ice is causing our sea levels to rise, threatening our coastal cities. This is not a distant problem of the future, it's happening right now, and the time to act is today. Before we dive deeper, press that subscribe button and join us on this journey to explore the effects of climate change. Remember to hit the notification bell too, so you won't miss out on our future content. With your support, we can spread awareness about these pressing issues. Now, let's venture into the cities that are predicted to sink by 2027. First on our list is the vibrant city of Miami, Florida. Known for its glittering beaches and bustling nightlife, Miami is a city that thrives on its close relationship with the sea. However, this relationship is turning sour as rising sea levels threaten to submerge parts of the city. With sea levels expected to rise by up to 6 feet by the end of this century, Miami could lose over half of its habitable land by 2027. Despite efforts to combat this issue, such as building seawalls and improving drainage systems, the city's future remains uncertain. Next, we travel to the bustling city of Bangkok, Thailand. This city, built on swampy ground and crisscrossed by numerous canals, is sinking at an alarming rate of 2 centimeters per year. Bangkok is also grappling with the dual threat of land subsidence and rising sea levels, making it one of the most vulnerable cities in the world to climate change. The Thai government is making efforts to slow down the sinking process, but the impact of these measures remains to be seen. On the other side of the globe lies the beautiful city of Venice, Italy. Known as the City of Canals, Venice is no stranger to flooding. However, the rising sea levels are exacerbating the city's flooding issues. The city is sinking at a rate of 1 to 2 millimeters per year, and with the sea levels rising at an even faster pace, large parts of Venice could be underwater by 2027. The ambitious Mose project, designed to protect the city from high tides is underway, but it's a race against time to save this architectural marvel. Moving on, we head to the city of Alexandria, Egypt. Founded by Alexander the Great, this city is one of the oldest in the world, and is home to numerous historical sites. However, rising sea levels are threatening to erase this rich history. Studies show that a one-meter rise in sea level could submerge large parts of Alexandria, displacing hundreds of thousands of people. While seawalls are being built to protect the city, the future of Alexandria hangs in the balance. Lastly, we journey to the city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Known for its vibrant music scene and rich cultural heritage, New Orleans is a city that knows how to bounce back from adversity. However, the rising sea levels pose a new challenge. The city is sinking at a rate of one inch per year, and with sea levels predicted to rise by up to six feet by the end of this century, parts of New Orleans could be underwater by 2027. Despite the threat, the city is fighting back with a comprehensive plan to adapt to the changing environment. Each of these cities, rich in culture and history, face the threat of disappearing under the rising seas. The predictions are alarming, and the clock is ticking. While efforts are being made to mitigate the effects of climate change, 
it's clear that more needs to be done. As we continue to grapple with the reality of our changing planet, it's crucial that we take action now to protect these cities and their invaluable cultural heritage. These cities, rich in culture and history, face the threat of disappearing under the rising seas. The rising seas are more than just a geographical shift, they pose a significant threat to people and economies. Imagine the bustling streets of a city you love, now submerged underwater, the homes, the businesses, the parks, the heritage sites, all swallowed by the sea. This is not just a dystopian fantasy, but a harsh reality that millions around the world might soon face. The rising sea levels could displace countless people from their homes, eroding the very fabric of their lives. Consider the economic implications. Cities are often economic powerhouses generating significant portions of a country's GDP. Losing them to the sea would mean a substantial economic downturn. Industries like tourism, real estate, and even agriculture, which rely heavily on coastal regions, would suffer immensely. The ripple effects would be felt across the globe leading to job losses and economic instability. But it's not just about the numbers, is it? It's about the loss of cultural heritage. Cities are more than just buildings and streets, they are living, breathing embodiments of our history and culture. They house centuries of human endeavor, of stories woven into the very fabric of their architecture and landscapes. The rising sea levels threaten to wipe away these irreplaceable testaments to our shared human experience. Let's not forget the human cost. The displacement of people on a large scale could lead to humanitarian crises, with risks of food and water shortages, diseases and conflicts over resources. The vulnerable and the marginalized would be hit the hardest, exacerbating existing inequalities. The urgency of the situation cannot be overstated. We are in a race against time and every moment counts. We need to act now, not just to protect our cities, but to ensure the survival of our economies, our cultures, and our people. The impact of rising sea levels goes beyond just geographical changes, it's a threat to our very way of life. As we stand on the brink of these potential losses it's crucial we act now. We've journeyed through the realities of climate change, the invisible yet insidious villain behind rising sea levels. This isn't just an abstract concept or a distant threat. It's a palpable and impending danger looming over our cities, our homes, our lives. From the vibrant streets of Venice to the bustling avenues of New York, from the serene beauty of the Maldives to the historic charm of Alexandria, the threat is real. By the end of 2027 these cities and many others could be partially submerged, their unique cultures, histories and people swallowed by the sea. But it's not just about the loss of land, it's about the upheaval of lives, the disruption of economies, the displacement of communities. Millions of people stand to lose their homes, their livelihoods, their sense of security. The ripples of this catastrophe will be felt across the globe, shaking the very foundations of our interconnected world. Yet amid the gloom, there's a beacon of hope. That beacon is us. It's in our hands to change the course of this narrative, by consciously reducing our carbon footprints, by advocating for and supporting policies aimed at mitigating climate change, we can make a difference. We are the custodians of our planet, the guardians of our future. It's our responsibility to steward it wisely, to ensure its preservation for future generations. We have the power, the tools and the knowledge. All we need now is the will to act. Remember every effort counts. Together we can help save our planet and preserve our cities for future generations.